going now? This is, I think, our sixth Flotopia. What makes this more different than anything else is the location. Um, the prior Flotopias were over on Sail Bay at, at the foot of the Fanwell Park. Um, this Flotopia, here we are on Fiesta Island, um, an enchanted cove. Uh, but I think that is really the only difference. But it's significant because it is not impacting a neighborhood. I think the biggest challenge we had over at Fanwell Park was that we had uh, hordes of young people walking in through a neighborhood to participate in Flotopia. Here you can see it really is not impacting that many people. Having said that, pretty much everything else is the same. We have uh, not as many people, but we had a good crowd out here today. Um, as anyone can see and appreciate, most of these people are in their you know, early 20s to maybe uh, late 20s. But the public safety issue is still the same. The police department, lifeguards, um, we do not support drinking and swimming, drinking and bathing, and certainly drinking and going out on floats. We've had a number of close calls out here today. Uh, we've had a, a few people that are suffering from hypothermia. This water is 62 degrees. Some people have been in it for four, five, six hours. And there are a number of people that have had way too much to drink. The other piece of this is uh, we have substantial resources out here. Again, fire police and uh, lifeguards. And uh, whereas on, from a police department standpoint, all of the officers that we have here are on duty, uh, there may be other things that we could have them doing, as opposed to standing out here uh, babysitting. You know, a crowd of young people that are exploiting, and that's all they're doing, they're exploiting a loophole in the law. Good.